Hey guys, welcome back to World of Warships. Today we're taking a look at the Constellation. This is through Ship Request. It's been a little while since we've done one of those. If you're unfamiliar, it's pretty simple. Whatever you comment down below, the most upvoted comment, that is the ship I'm gonna play next time I do a Ship Request. Last time it was Constellation, and this is a ship I've never played before. This is a Tier 8 American Battleship. You'd think that with how much I play Battleships and enjoy them, especially the American ones, to be honest, I should have played this already, but I just haven't. Um, mainly down to not thinking it's all that interesting. All it really gets is a 10 kilometer radar. As far as utility goes, that's very nice, but our downsides of this ship is that we have Colorado guns instead of the nice North Carolina ones. So a little bit less punching power, a little bit less damage out of them. However, what I didn't realize, this has battle cruiser dispersion and 1.9 sigma. So this thing should be very, very accurate. No improved secondaries at all. Our hit points are fine for this tier. Only 20% torp protection, a little odd considering how big this thing is. Looks a lot like a Vermont, doesn't it? Yet we go 34.9 knots. <laughs> We're so fast. Uh, so a very, very quick battleship with supposedly, where we'll see, I guess, accurate guns and then a radar. 12 kilometer detection seems pretty good as well. And then uh, 9.2 kilometer torps that have decent damage output, although they're at the back. So we'll see how useful those will actually be. Another downside, possibly this is looking too good. We actually get overmatched through our bow and our stern. So I guess that makes sense considering battle cruisers typically have that downside and this ship has that accuracy model. But with 406s, it should punch reasonably well. Our Citadel, fortunately, is waterline, so it's not actually way above waterline like this might suggest. Really good to see. So we shouldn't get slapped too hard, although I do expect to take some damage if we show too much side. Uh, the other nice thing about the armor, even though we do get overmatched through the front, we have 57 mil plating on our deck and our upper belt here. So that's going to shatter a ton of HE at this tier and auto bounce most battleship shells, although there are some shot trap uh, potentials. So we'll see how that actually goes, but that is uh, a bit about the constellation. Here's the build. I've actually been really enjoying just slamming a bunch of damage buffs on these battleships recently. Super heavy AP, running furious, and then getting our extra healing. Although notably this ship only gets four heals even with this superintendent here. So a little bit worried about that. Maybe this is too greedy. Possibly I've been playing too much main recently and uh, over reliant on that ship's insane tanking ability and uh, normal battleships aren't able to take this. We'll see. Might have to swap it over to something a little bit more standard, but extra grease the gears as well as gun feeder should help us out a little bit. But uh, a fast battleship with a radar and seemingly accurate guns. That should be a good time. So we get an absolutely crazy starting location in the uh, far left side of this map with only a sub wit to help us out. Uh, I'm not sure about that. But let's see what this accuracy is going to look like. Actually, very good. Nice. And then this ship is surprisingly fast. I mean, obviously it's going to be quick, but... Uh, Wow, 17k, that's really nice. Uh, we're fast, man. This is kind of nice. Not gonna lie. Ooh, a Kigero, sure. And he's gonna stay a little bit outside of our radar. Unfortunately, won't be able to get that. Don't necessarily want to be pushing in here. Yeah. Algeri is interesting, but you know what? There's a broadside turpits here, so let's go after him. May as well. Vanguard on us, that's fine. But we're just going to hang out here for now. Try and get some damage into these guys. 14, wow. I mean, we do have heavy AP, but... Those are some nice salvos, wow. Yeah, accuracy is pretty important. It's very important. Currently getting some pretty nice buffs from Furious at the moment, so... Our reload being 25 and a half seconds is awesome. Okay with eating one or two heals like that, but I don't want to eat too much. It's a little more than I want to take, but this is a big ship. I think that's something to keep in mind is we're very, very, very large. So we're going to take some damage. That's okay. Uh, here, actually, he's turning broadside, so we'll aim for that. 
There we go. There's some uh, bounces, shatters, whatever. Another 15. Wow. Wow. Man, I thought this ship sucked. I actually did. I actually just assumed this was a bad ship. These guns are nuts. I guess we'll see about the armor, of course, but... Yeah, we're taking some damage, but that's okay. Oh, there's a sub here, too. Yeah, good thing we left. Okay, only overpens that time. That's okay. I would like my guns, please. I don't think I reach that. No, I do not. Definitely do not. Algery, interesting. Turpits on the HE. It's fine. We should maybe think about swapping to the HE, actually. Uh, it's solved, actually kind of decent. Uh, you don't actually have the penalty that you usually would with Colorado guns. The HE is basically the same as you'd find on a North Carolina. At least damage and fire chance wise. I, th uh, I didn't check fire chance, actually. It might be different, but damage wise, it's the same. Double fire is not nice. That's not great. go there. Alright, get some healing going. And, you know, these torps are kind of slow, so maybe we'll just send a few. Bounce some of that. Yes, we can. It's our reload now. 22 second reload. It's pretty good. Although we're eating a lot of damage to uh, get that reload, of course. He's turning broadside to those torps. Or he's turning broadside to us because of those torpedoes. So, let's try there. I see the carrier coming for us. Doubtful, we have very good AA, but uh, we'll try. Oh, only two hits, that's unfortunate. Like that, angle. Yeah, I think Furious Heavy AP, probably a little too greedy. We've certainly <laughs> eaten a lot of damage, but we've dealt an all right amount. That guy's always staying angled to us, which is good. He's playing well. That's what you're supposed to do. But as someone who just wants to hit things, um, it's not as great for me. Okay, Amagi broadside. Here we go. Yes! Indeed we get a citadel. Not always are you going to get that, but this time we do. Very nice. Now, I guess you could say we kind of left our battleships there to die, but I would say they shot at us enough that uh, we were providing some crossfires in that, too. And, well, we ate, we ate damage because of our greedy build. Let's be honest, I would have had much more HP if I, this build wasn't so greedy. Too high. Okay, too high. That's fine. But I think our team is doing okay still, anyway. Haven't made use of the radar. I'll, I'll give you that. My positioning certainly has just been to make use of these guns and stay at a reasonable distance. I think to not just stay alive, but be a little bit comfortable here. We could play more aggressive. 5k into a Bawan Turpit superstructure. It's all right. We only have one heal left. Something to consider. That Amagi's going to go down soon, and he's not going to be a distra distraction for too much longer. So, we might be getting into too close a range with the Turpets here, actually. This is maybe a bad idea. Yeah, there come the secondaries. Although, if he turns broadside to us, that is a uh, very early fire. But, hey, it's alright. He's broadside, though. 40k on him right now. 20,000. Beautiful. Actually, if he goes that way, we have a pretty long damage control, so I think we're okay. And he's always been outside of six kilometers. So that's something to keep in mind is six kilometer torps on that guy. We just got a relatively up-to-date ping on the sub's location, so I will try to go there. 
Uh, those should run out, right? Yes, barely. <laughs> okay, I cut that one a little close, I'll admit. I'll admit. Oh, hey, look it. We have a radar. Hello. Most people probably have no idea what this ship is because they you see it so rarely. Very fortunate that we didn't eat a huge hit from the Vanguard there, I'll be honest. 122. It's a good game, man. A really good first game. And we go dark. Oh, that's just so nice, man. Good concealment, good accuracy, good speed. That is nice to have. Three bounces. Yeah, it's fine. But that's nice. That's a really nice first game. We had a good team, though, too, I suppose. That always will help us out. Yeah, and our speed, man. We're just so fast to flank these guys. Like, we were just on the other side of this island fighting the Vanguard. And then we just show up and find the Algeri. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Maybe I shouldn't be surprised, but I kind of am. I always feel like these constellations die very quickly and don't really accomplish much in most of the games I find them in. But I find them so rarely that maybe that's just a small sample size, I suppose. Good win, good win. Yeah, um, maybe that shouldn't have surprised me, but especially that damage early on. Maybe we got very fortunate with our damage there, but that was some nice, those are some very, very nice salvos. I think I will swap to a more reasonable build though. See if we can't play a little more aggressive and use that radar. This is too greedy. Look at how look at how alone I am. This is way too greedy. Especially if he's like happens to be not broadside or something. Oh, he was. 10k from Sharnox, that sucks. We are flanking though. That's we're making use of our speed. We are flanking. Uh we might just get shotgunned by the sub. We haven't seen him for a while. Although that's supposed to be not a thing anymore. Torpedoes, direct front. Torpedoes to port. Those torps are... Yukumo is here? Oh no. Alright, I suppose that's fair enough. Oh, and I don't kill him. Too bad. All right, we will turn around. We're not gonna. St well, I mean, they only have a few ships left here. I don't know, man. Problem solved, sir. You know what? Random radar. Go. Oh, hello. Random radar. We'll take it. 3K. That's the thing. You don't have uh, the DPM to kill a DD with this radar. It's really about your teammates. I suppose it is really nice here. In fact, to just get our, just know where he is, I, I guess. I don't know. Look at that, I guess. Just to be slowing down. Yeah, I was worried about that guy coming back too. I'm on double fire. Okay, those should miss us. I think we're dead. Wait, they don't miss us? They don't? Uh, okay, we're alright. No, we're not. We're dead. <laughs> uh, overkicked it a bit. That's okay. Um, You know, passive games, they happen. Um, They happen to everybody. That's how it goes. So here's what I'll say about Matchmaker. We're getting very lucky to be mostly fighting tier eights and below. Got one tier nine, I guess, the other other game. But Carrier Double Sub is just kind of miserable Matchmaker. Um, just to be honest with you guys, I don't like it. <laughs> Amazing commentary, I know, but that's that is just how it goes. These kind of games typically aren't the funnest. And I play games to have fun, to be honest with you. But we do have Brisk now, so flanking should go a little better with that. We'll get out to some surprise positions, maybe. 
Is this guy going to be forced to turn for those? No. Our carrier just missed a... <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll go there. He's turning for that. So perhaps this will do some good damage. He's a flat broadside at the moment. And we get overpens. Too bad. Uh, maybe this ship is not as good. Maybe we got very lucky our first game. Um, we'll see. I hope this one goes better. Certainly overdid it last game, but, you know, wanted to see how aggressive we could possibly play. Didn't work out for us. This time, though, we do have some more teammates around us, which is very nice. So we'll try and make use of that. Oh, the stop. Well done. Good dodge. Yeah, my teammates, though. You can't just focus on me. And some overmatch. Little overmatch, maybe. Enemy sub is here. As always, got to deal with those things before we can have much fun. Oh, we do overmatch. He's so low now. Do we hit anything? We do not. They're so maneuverable now, man. They're just very, very, very difficult to get any sort of hit on them. Too bad. Turning out. And we'll try and finish off the cruiser, and then... I mean, brawling against battleships is probably a bad idea for this ship. You don't get killed there? Are, excuse me? Are you sure about that? That feels a little bad. And then you get a fire, of course. Uh, that feels a little bad. RNG? Why? Why Why you treat me so poorly? Probably there, I guess. I don't know. What do you think? Is he going this way? Hey, we got him. There we go. Ouch. Wow, there's Talon here, too. Well, I don't know. I guess I have to turn, try and turn out. Feels bad, but I think I just have to try this. Might need a big hit from the Monarch. We'll see. No, he loaded HE. Lovely. That's fine. Wow, we took very little damage from that, too. It's a little surprising. All right, let's try and get away. We've pushed them all the way back to their spawn, so that's good enough. Broadside Nagato stationary. I mean, surely this hits really hard, yeah? Battle cruiser dispersion, 1.9 Sigma. By the way, just thought we'd talk about that while those shells were in the air. Lovely. Okay, it is not nearly as good as I thought. <laughs> I suppose that's predictable, but like... <laughs> oh, it's just a little bit sad, don't you think? Maybe Monarch's got a bigger citadel. I don't know. Um, it's, ba it's a battleship. It's a battleship. You know, it's a battleship. So... It's a battleship that doesn't have armor and doesn't hit very hard most of the time. Wow. Wow. That is... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing differently. I mean... Crazy. I guess that's how it goes sometimes, yeah? That's just how it goes. We're even getting blind-fired, guys. Crazy. I'm not even on my PQ account, so this isn't a case of CPQ shoot PQ. This is just attempted blind-fire. Interesting. We're only on 25,000 damage. All that shooting against broadside ships at such close range. We have 25,000 damage to show for it. That's pathetic, man. That is junk. I'm sorry, but that is bad. Nagato's gonna go a little broadside here. So maybe we shoot him. Try a little bit. Nice. Monarch didn't shoot us. 
Okay, 10,000. It's a little better. It's a little better. Really need to finish this guy off, though. A little greedy here, but I do want to shoot him. Although, our teammates are all shooting him. So maybe we're, we're fine. Nice. Monarch shoots us. Hopefully we don't take a big hit. Not too bad. Oh, that's too greedy on being a monarch. Wow. You can't be doing that. No citadel. Hmm. It was some damage, though, at least. I'll give you that. But no citadel there is kind of sad. Oh, well. I guess it is Battlecruiser Dispersion, but it's eight guns. Eight guns and RNG, I guess. I don't know. Five bounces. I guess that, yeah, that's pretty common. At that angle, I didn't aim high enough for superstructure, I guess. And the carrier's here. Nice. Okay, good work, team. Our team is doing something. That's good. Thank you, team. And we have an opportunity for greatness. No, we're eating two of those. That sucks. Opportunity for greatness. Can we follow through? Battle cruiser dispersion. Two. Two is good. Two is very good. You can make it up to me here, Constellation, all right? I'll say you're a good ship if you allow me to get this kill. Please. Problem solved, sir. Please. That just does not look like Battlecruiser Dispersion. I'm just gonna be totally honest with you. <laughs> oh man, like, come on. Really? All right. All right. One last, one shot, one opportunity. This is it. He gets away otherwise. Okay, that's better. That's a little better. Maybe it's just aim bugs. Maybe after eight or nine years, the game's still in beta. No, we don't kill him! All right, it's junk. I mean, what else can I say? I made a, I made a deal. I made a deal. It's junk. That's all I can say now. <laughs> a contract's a contract. We got to stick to it now. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's probably fine. It's probably a good tier 8 battleship, but... Battleship destroyed. These last two games, man, are just... And I, we got 105k. This is, this is why it's really important to not just look at the score. Spotter and then uh, get an assumption based on that. Gotta look at the individual salvos and what we're shooting at. That's a disappointing 100k, for sure. At least for me. Oh? Why'd you push forward? Please, game. Please! He's so low. Surely. Yeah, it's the Pitadel. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I see you, World of Warships. I see you. I haven't played you for over a week. You give me that insane main eight dev strikes in like a three hour stream, plus some other big hits, and now you're giving me this. I see you. You gave me the one good game. You brought me back in. I see. I see. It's only front guns, but maybe. Maybe a bit of damage, please. 5k. Yeah. I guess. That's fine. That's fine. Should probably use this heal. He could just smash us, I guess. Not looking at us, at least. Broadside Richelieu. What do we get? That's nice dispersion. How are we... Really? Game, you're telling me a, a gigantic battleship like a Richelieu we're overpenning when we hit his upper belt? Are you really? Really? Is that how that works? What's the point of having such big guns? Like, why on earth would someone design guns so large and with so much pen 
that you hit a broadside battleship and it overpens. Doesn't that mean you've gone too far? Hello? I don't I mean, I don't know. But that seems like you've probably done a little too much. <laughs> like, ugh, all right. Still a good game, still a good game, it's fine. It's fine, still a good game. Might even yoink a fourth kill, no, no, okay, that's fine. Uh, 135, we got damage, the radar's good utility, um, but the ship is very squishy at closer ranges, which I knew going into it, um, but it's good to always confirm that by just full sending it in that second game. And you play a little more mid-range, you kind of take some engagements, then run away to heal up and then go in again. It can work. It can work. Um, the ship's not too bad. I think Battle Cruiser Dispersion's a bit of a bait here, to be honest with you. Uh, it certainly didn't feel like it most of the time. I mean, that first game, I guess, maybe it did, but we got some stinkers there. Like, there were some real bad salvos, uh, certainly. So that that feels pretty bad. 1.9 Sigma Battle Cruiser Dispersion is nuts. Typically, Battle Cruisers get like. I mean, like, Vincent is so OP and nuts, and it's got, like, what, 1.7, 1.6 Sigma Battlecruiser Dispersion? Right? Like, it should be better, right? It should be... I don't know. Maybe maybe expectations are just too high, but uh, it's okay. But that's ship request. Uh, interesting to check this ship out. Never played it before. Um, certainly that first game sucked me in a little bit too much and forced me to reconsider, I guess, over the last two. Maybe that's why I was a little disappointed in those ones as well. But let me know what you want to see in the next ship request. As always, comment down below whatever is most upvoted. That's what we're going to play. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.